Hello collective. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. So I started my read and then I had to start over because I was having some type of camera issue. Um, so let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Uh, so there's something where someone has been trying to bring someone else to an end. This is like a king of cups that's operating from his lower energy. Someone is very jealous and envious of you. <coughs> um... It's like there are two different masculines in a situation, right? But who I'm picking up on, there's a king of cups that's out here very envious, possibly of another masculine or of a feminine energy. And he's been doing a lot to block your forward movement. This man does not want anyone collaborating with you. So anyone he's aware of that wants to work with you, he does something behind the scenes to end that. He'll do something to temper with that. So it's like if he doesn't want people to see you in a high light, in a favorable light, he'll go and slander you, defame you, tell people that maybe you're reckless, you sell yourself online and things like that. Tell people that you're incompetent, you're disingenuous, things like that. But it's not true. Why someone is doing something is solely because of jealousy and insecurities. For some of you, this could be your ex. This could be someone you are familiar with, with them showing up as the King of Cups. This could be someone you had a contract with. Maybe you never got the chance to start dating them because you saw them for who they were and you just decided to back away. For some of you, this could be someone you are you dated before, you have history with, uh, and maybe they're upset because you moved on with your life and they thought you were going to be coming back to them and it's a heck no from your ancestors and your angels. Someone has fallen from grace immensely. There's something that they cannot have uh and because they don't have a certain, it has to do with like some type of lifestyle. Someone wants to beat you to the punch. They want people to believe that they are better than you. They're wiser than you. They're smarter than you. They're a better option than you. They are the ones that helped you do something when they never helped you do anything. Someone wants people to believe that they are like an advocate. They're the reason why you are where you are. Or, or they just want people to think very lowly of you. And it's really sad and pathetic when a man resides in this energy because men don't re men aren't supposed to represent this in society. So it's really sad and disheartening when you come across a man that behaves this way. Someone is such a narcissist, though. I've, uh, someone is such a narcissist, though, that they don't really see a problem with what it is they're doing because someone's ego has taken over them. They've been like that their, their entire life. They don't mind taking reckless actions and things like that because they have a point to prove. They don't mind, you know, ending other people's uh, uh, livelihoods, going against people, lying. It don't matter who you are, friend, family, foe, strangers, they'll do the same thing to you. As you can see, someone has fallen from grace and it has something to do with the ace of pentacles that he's been trying to block you from receiving. Like this man said, you... You you cannot have something, but it's like he does not have the jurisdiction. With this temperance out here in the reverse, he does not have the jurisdiction to make that decision. Someone has fallen from grace, basically. Someone overindulged. Someone is a liar. Someone pretends to be a genuine person, a compassionate person. This is someone that plays with people's emotions so that he can get you to work with him, so that he can get you to see things from his perspective, blah, 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 blah. Someone may have lost their ranking as well spiritually because of coming after you is what I'm picking up. There is something where they were trying to hide. And I have th this four of cups here in the reverse. What I'm more so getting, getting is that this person was trying to hide something about themselves. Like they've been working behind the scenes to like, end you, block you, uh, tarnish your image, 
tarnish your work, your resources, your finances, but something is not hitting anymore about a king of cups. He has fallen from grace or he never was someone of grace, right? So someone has been humble. I'm telling you, someone has fallen from grace. All of the illusions are being exposed to this group that was working with him to come up against you to deter your strength, limit your offers and opportunities, not wanting an institution to work with you or not wanting someone to give you some type of commitment because there's possibly like an emperor behind the scenes that may want to give you some type of commitment, but they've been working really hard to block this from coming in. There's an institution, either this is an institution or a family that has been working really hard planning on how they can come towards you or how they can temper with your energy to get you to self-sabotage so that you don't have your new beginning you don't have your ten of cups you don't have your you know downloads from the universe you're not compassionate you're like they, they want to they want to have you dismantle yourself destroy yourself martyr yourself so they're doing things behind the scene to make it look like you are the one doing something to yourself naturally like it's supposed to come across as though you are that something that's happening to you is natural but it's not natural there's the whole institute there's a whole institution and fan or a family behind the scenes that's doing something to a king queen of cups uh star c energy um, and they don't want people to know that they may be very pissed off because you keep standing your ground. These people have net networked with a lot of people, have taken a lot of impulsive actions and things like that to temper, to just block offers and things like that from you. There is something coming towards you that is exactly, that is directly from the most high that these people cannot block, but they're trying to figure out on how they can block it. If you are someone that's like on a social media platform with this three of pentacles out here, they are trying to figure out a way on how to destroy you from being seen, from you being elevated, from you maybe going viral, from your business exploding and things like that, right? So this is what they're doing. The community itself is going through karma right now, okay? Something has gone really haywire. Today, you are, I've been hearing ambulances, we've been seeing police cars flying by our building back and forth. Somebody got pulled over right in front of our building, and then we saw two more cops, like, flying by. We just heard, I think, like, three, three more police cars, like, going by. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but there's something where, like, a community or a group that got together to collaborate against someone. They're going through some type of karma with this Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Ten of Swords out here. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. Someone may have taken some type of impulsive action to, uh, maybe that's what people don't know. Um, someone may have taken some type of impulsive action. Like someone was doing something repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. They did it so much. They felt comfortable doing it and they felt, they felt invincible doing it. But there's something that's been exposed that has led to some type of like just like, like a tower, a, a humbling experience going on amongst these people the friendships are over um someone may have a uh, block like a communication someone has been blocking communications for a long time someone trying to block your energy like if you're someone that's very genuine very authentic a little bit eccentric and things like that they've been doing things to put an end to their energy like they don't want people seeing you as someone genuine they want people to see you as naive and stupid and incompetent not not someone to be taken seriously but that's that's not what's happening Whatever they've been trying to block when it comes to you, however, is not going to be hitting anymore with this Four of Cups in the reverse out here. Your work is going to be seen. Your work will be admired. People are going to cherish what it is that you do. People will be coming to you for answers and things like that. People are going to respect you regardless of what you're doing, whether it's in a nine to five or something you're doing on a platform. Your work is not going to be hitting anymore. It's about to be out on the world stage or just viral on social media or something like that. And people are going to really love what it is that you do because whatever it is you are doing, you may not see how important it is right now, but you never know who's watching you and holds you in high regard. And you never know what opportunities the universe has for you. So keep going because it's going to be very imperative and essential for other people. You may have people out here that are trying to advocate for you as well. There's something out here about a King of Cups, not the one I was talking about that fell from grace. It's a King of Cups that may have taken some type of a King of Cups. There's someone that took some type of impulsive action against a King, King of Cups and it King of, why can't I talk? 
Someone took some type of impulsive action against a king of cups and it backfired immediately. Someone may have like legal issues coming in. Someone was trying to deter a king of cups from being able to get on their path or see things in the upright. I don't know what this is, but whatever is going on behind the scenes is not something you would want to be a part of collective. Uh, these people have been doing something for a very long time and they were expecting things to go in their favor but it's not going in their favor. I'm telling you, they're not having wish fulfillment. The universe is that you, you all keep tempering with this person's livelihood, their resources, their money. You don't get to have what you want as well. There's a queen of swords reverse, and this woman has been showing up in my readings a lot. Someone is losing their job. Uh, someone is about to be out here in the cold, basically everything she's been trying to have for you because this is someone I've been picking up on that goes from community to community. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of and the Queen of Swords Reverse, baby. Y'all about to be going through it. They've been working hard to hold or control something that does not belong to them and it's backfiring. No one has time for the nonsense. You got to grow up. Why these people are doing something is because of ego. You know, if you've lied for so long and you want people to see another person in a certain light and it's just not sticking. Your ego kicks in, so you're like, I got to prove that this person is what I told them they are. Don't believe whatever they're telling you. They're pretending to be something they're not, and it's not true. That's why these people are going through losses. This woman, this queen of swords reverse, I've, I've been picking up on her for a long time now. This is, person that, this is someone that uses words, right, to manipulate because this is someone that's very greedy and overindulges in everything. Someone does something for money, and that's it. If she considers herself to be a practitioner, the only reason she does it is for the finances. There's nothing more to it, nothing less, okay? She may be even wishing for you to shut up, for you to just go away, for you to be hidden. They don't want you in the public eye. Uh, she may be wishing for you to kind of self-destruct, like you say something that you're not supposed to say, maybe tell a lie or something, or say something really out of pocket, and then it pisses someone off, and they end up shutting your platform down or something like that, or they end up firing you, something of that nature. But this is someone that's been working really hard to just, uh, defame another person because she's in like some type of silent competition with you. And you will be surprised because this is more than likely someone that's older than you. Um, and she and this queen of pentacles have been working really hard behind the scenes to control or keep something that belongs to you, but it's not going exactly according to plan because there's someone behind the scenes that's going to be balancing some type of situation out. And it's about to piss. I'm telling you, it's about to piss off these two. Um, I don't know why these two women are so set on you. These are two people that are into witchcraft, voodoo, rituals, moon rituals. I'm telling you, okay? Came out in a reverse. This family is not getting getting whatever. I, and it keeps coming out of the scene. Wh whoever this family is, they're not getting something. And I've told them this numerous times. They are not getting something. They keep having some type of temporary victory because it's like they do something and then they're like, okay, now... We're not going to see them anymore. We won't hear them anymore. They won't be posting anymore. They won't be showing up to work anymore. No one's going to hear from them. And then you show up to work or you post on your platform. And then it's like, oh my gosh, I thought you, listen, arguing. I thought you said they weren't going to be posting anymore. I thought you said you blocked that platform. I thought you said you fired them. I thought you said they're calling sick. Oh my gosh. Just angry for no reason. I'm telling you, it's a lot of arguments going on behind the scene. A fight may have broken out. People feel weighed down and burdened because a decision about a queen of cups is going to be taking them out of the cold. They're upset because someone sees a queen of cups as wish fulfillment. There's a, another queen of cups, a queen of cups reverse in this scenario that is headed straight for poverty. Be careful because there's something where people may be plotting for you to go to some type of location so that they can do you something. Keep your distance away from these people. All of them are living in fear because something is backfiring. Of course, they're not going to show it on their faces when they get out in public. Uh, but something, I'm telling you, something is backfiring horribly for these people, right? They're feeling way down and burdened because this is how it was always meant to be. It's that someone thought they had something in the bag. They said, we've, we've set everything up. 
uh, we've made it look like it's them that did something, whether it's in like the justice system or wherever you are, people logging into computers and things like that. When you get in there to make something look like what it's not, phone calls, all kinds of stuff. You may be receiving some type of communication from someone that's interested in working with you, your emperor or an emperor that wants to work with you and hold you in high regards. But the people behind the scenes, they're very burdened, wounded, just... They don't know what to do. They're confused. They feel like they're going through a dark night of the soul, which you are. It's going to be a long, windy, and horrendous experience. But when you all come out of it, you'll be better people. And you won't go through all of this nonsense to block other people's future. There's something about money being on the line. And I don't know what this money has to do with, but you all aren't getting that money. Whether you started a business on the back of someone else is about to fall. Their business is over. The truth is exposed about a business or a family that is in disarray, arguing, going through losses, fighting, all kinds of stuff, going through disappointment, heartbreaks, right? Uh, they may just be like, you know, giving each other a piece of their mind and say, you know what? And, 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 you know, just going off on each other and you, I just want you to know you get on my nerves. I've been holding it in for 10 years. And I can't hold it no more. And I just want you to know, I don't like you. I don't even know why you're part of this family. Uh, because you, your blood <laughs> or because you all decided to get together, you create a surrogate family and that's why they're part of the family. Um, but there's a lot of arguing, a lot of uh, tum uh, turmoil is going on behind the scenes that you all may not be privy to, but that's because your ancestors are stepping in to balance something out. There's also something I'm being told that there, that there is a Sagittarius that has fallen from grace that is not receiving an Ace of Pentacles offer. I think the Ace of Pentacles may be you. You may be the gift from God. And maybe you have masculines or people behind the scenes that are in competition for you. And then you have these two wannabes that are in competition with you for being you like they want to be seen as the gift this one is in denial that you are actually gifted or you are someone that's actually talented skill uh you have intuition someone said no i refuse to believe that he or she has intuition that's a lie we have the page of cups out here and you hear they go trying to what put an end to your intuition so somebody knows that you are intuitively gifted and you may be dangerously gifted and it bothers her but she's unwilling to admit it but that's i'm telling you she's unwilling to admit it but admit it but the universe don't care the universe said you're about to go through uh, a rebirth so you just sit there and keep on being in denial we don't got time for that we'll come back to you when it's time for your time for your uh for your karma um so there could be like a couple of couple of masculines or a few masculines behind the scenes that want to have you as their gift or whatever it is because this is how they're seeing you now and the universe is letting a sagittarius that has fallen from grace or someone that reside in their negative energy and things like that that he is not receiving this gift someone has been very determined to destroy and out of his effort the universe is putting an end to the universe is that we don't care how hard you work to destroy this person we're always going to balance things out for them you can keep trying because we know you're a narcissist don't forget we made you so he may want to come in with a friendship towards you to try to balance something i'll give you some type of love offer but you're going to see this man at a distance like no nah, i'm not sure about you no 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 okay because you have an emperor behind the scenes that knows what these people have been doing i'm telling you he knows what these people have been doing he may want to maybe um have some type of closure with you with this page of cups out here in this judgment card someone may want to have closure with you he's having some type of epiphany about what has been going on or maybe someone finally has the answers about a situation i'm telling you uh, uh that has been taking going on for so long so uh, um what i'm also picking up on is that Ooh, it don't matter how much work these people put in. It's always going to lead to disappointment for them. These people are upset because you keep working and staying committed and it's causing them losses, right? This is what they want for you. They want you to keep putting in your effort into whatever it is that's dear to you. But time and time again, you keep experiencing losses and things like that. But this is what someone is going through. There's a woman of high honor, privilege, I'm being taught to tell you whatever you have committed yourself to is leading to disappointment for you. You're about to be in a five of cups kind of energy.
okay? Uh, you're about to be, I don't know, single or divorced out here. I don't know what this is. The five of the, excuse me, the nine of pentacles is usually a single vibe that someone has acquired a good amount of stability or contentment in life by themselves. Um, but you're about to be losing quite a lot because you don't want from the nine of pentacles to the eight of pentacles to the five of cups. So you're about to lose something and it has to do with how you receive or got what it, whatever it is that you have. Something is going to be taken from you and given to the rightful person. Okay. Uh, these people are still working hard. Yeah, that's the truth. You're about to be losing something because you work really hard behind the scenes to manipulate. You told a lot of lies slender you work really hard to destroy someone else you try to do something from behind the scenes and kind of, you know like one of those people they do a lot of dirty works but they have hire people to do their dirty work so they do things from behind the scenes so it makes it look like their hands are clean that's one of those They're, you're being told nah you're not getting whatever it is if you got it it's going to be taken away from you and that's the god's honest truth that that is that's is the clarity maybe people they didn't know that you do things from behind the scenes and pretend to have your hands clean maybe people in your community or people around you they, they didn't know that they didn't know that and now you're living in fear because all of this truth is coming out you are someone that's slimy as heck very slimy you've been working really hard to cause disappointment for someone else or a family or whatever this is and the truth is coming out you're going to be losing whatever it is you took from someone you may have like lied forged something to make something go in your favor and we've been telling you the whole time we've been telling all of you to let something go but someone kept saying there's a lot of money on the line she don't deserve all of this he don't deserve all of this you're about to find out the universe ain't playing with you all uh collective i'm trying i'm being told to warn someone there is some type of plan for you to go somewhere so that someone can end you so that someone can end you this may have to do with like you showing up at work just be cautious if you um work a job where you just don't feel comfortable you don't feel safe there i will start looking for another one start looking for yeah start looking for another one and let source guide you and get the heck up out of there because there's something being plotted okay against an empress yeah i'm telling you someone lie on an empress oh <laughs> this queen of swords reverse has been telling a lot of lies on an empress and it all has to do with jealousy this woman wants to control whatever it is that belongs to you there's also a mother figure that's going through an ending behind the scenes, a white figure that's a liar, very envious and jealous, living in a lot of fear and anxiety. Yeah, I said fear, living in a lot of fear and anxiety because something is being balanced out. There's something where people keep saying they're out of time or we're almost out of time. We need her here. We need him here or something like that. Oh, they're going to get away. This empress is getting away. It don't matter what it is you all do to try to destroy this person's life uh their resources the universe has decided that someone is moving on with their life so you can keep plotting and planning all you want but the universe is always going to step in and balance it out uh i remember i had a dream of a couple i don't know if a masculine got married to a woman or he got in a relationship with a woman and she, she, he didn't know that it was all set up or something like that. And it turns out that she just wanted to get with this man, uh, just so that she could break another woman's heart. Like I got him before you, or I got the man. He chose me over you. They didn't know the whole time the woman was not interested in the man. Uh, there's something like that. But in the dream, I see her walking away from, uh, him and he's trying to, tuck her into staying or he's really pissed off because he thought that she really loved him and she's like i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to be here anymore and he just was confused all over the place and i remember like the in the dream they showed me like her legs uh her legs go down but her feet both of her feet are out they point outwards um, kind of like a web feet, but hers are separated and she walks, but her feet are a little bit outwards, right? And that was letting me know that that is someone that is non-directional. She does not know what she wants in life. Someone is confused. Someone, uh, focuses more on the mundane things in life, friendships, how things look, uh, gas, lighting. Someone likes to have options because there's something where in the dream, it's like a lot of people, like, like some, something about like, a. I don't know what it was. There was a woman with her 
it's like they're, I don't know if they're lovers or something, but it's, you may have picked a woman that likes other women, something like that. And this has been coming up a lot in my reading is that someone has been hiding their activities, their preferences or something like that. They didn't tell a masculine or it could be vice versa, but they've been projecting that onto another woman. Uh, or maybe this could be a masculine that's projecting this onto a, a woman or another man. But there is someone around a man. Maybe she, you two are not together anymore. She left or something. She prefer women. I'm just going to put it that way. That's why you two never really could be on the same page. You thought, you thought, <laughs> you thought you have found the queen. You have found the empress and then look at you. Okay, maybe you went and committed to this woman. She could have been a queen of a queen of wands. Maybe you invested a lot into her, and then you find out she's a thief. Uh, that woman likes to have options. And it ain't nothing wrong with that, but just be upfront with it when, when you get into connections with people. Just tell them what it is that you're into. Excuse me, like, honey. I'm not, I'm not about to play around with you. I don't like to have options. I'm a one, one on one person, one man, one woman. If you're not into that, don't come my way. That's me. Illusions, not for me. We're going to check you right at the door. Oh, you what? You like, you like to see other people, <laughs> honey, go ahead. Don't bother. Cause the only options of people I like is the one on the TV. If I, if I like to have options, I turn on the TV and I see all faces. That's about it. Okay. It ain't nothing about no inappropriate videos, uh, calling this person, calling that person. And no, that's too many energies to keep track of. It's a lot of entities as well. The possibilities of having entities attached to you, taking on people, karma. And saying, no, 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 no. You're BSing yourself. You cannot be an, a, a, a healed person doing all of that nonsense. You got to be lying to yourself. Lying to yourself. Listen, this whole family... They're trapped in something, and you ain't getting out. You're going to have to pay. They're all confused. And I'm telling you, these people are arguing. They don't know how something happened the way it is. They don't know how it is that the truth was exposed. There's some type of communication someone received about a family. They are very disingenuine. Okay, the truth has been exposed. They're being looked into as well. There could be members of this family that's going to end up going to jail, like prison for a long time because they, they violated some laws. OK, there are there are institutions or families out here that are finding people's addresses and things like that when they don't have any business to be finding people's addresses because they're so determined to make something stick to make sure you don't receive something. You're going to jail. You're going to prison. Some of you are just angry out here in some type of uh, self-imposed imprisonment and you deserve to be in it. But some of you are going to jail and prison because of what you did. You've been out here violating people's privacy. I just heard something about HIPAA. You are violated someone's privacy, someone in an institution. There's a higher fin that's very burdened behind the scenes because a king of pentacles has decided to put a stop to some type of tempering when it comes to justice playing out. Okay. Um, there's also something about a higher fin that may be worried about, uh, a masculine coming towards a feminine to cause them more problems because he said, shoot, or she, at this point, like we can't afford to be causing any more problems because we, listen, we got problems coming in court cases and things like that going on. Right. But the courts has decided to give someone something else, something that belongs to them. Excuse me. There's a tower going on. Because two people will still be coming together. I don't know what this is. <sighs> Why this is so important to these people. And they keep coming out here doing voodoo. To mix up the messages and things like that. They don't want the truth coming out. It's still coming out. You're all going to have problems. Some of you are going to jail. Prison. Losing everything. You see how far away this woman is from her castle back there? Maybe that castle didn't even belong to her. Someone has been pulled out of her home with that. Someone may have stolen a home, been out here pretending to be bougie. We oui, we oui. about to be out here like, hey, Felicia, ain't no more bougie. We oui, we oui for you. Okay, you're going to have to return whatever it is you stole. Okay, Felicia. Tumba. My name is Felicia. Uh-uh, Felicia, girl. Stop it. Felicia. 
telling people her names in different pronunciation. One day is Felicio, Felicia. It's the end of that, girl. It's the end of that. Your name is Felicia. Bye, Felicia. I'm telling you. Baby, I don't know what these people are going through behind the scenes, but it ain't looking cute. It, it ain't looking good. It, 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 it ain't cute at all. It's not, it, it's not cute. Too many, baby, it's not cute. Nothing is cute about it. See that? Nothing. Why you're going, why you're coming to the end of having to protect yourself, being cautious and things like that, or stepping right into that. It's, these people are fighting. The friendships are over. I think I mentioned that earlier. Their friendships are over. Ain't nobody playing with these people no more. Uh, people are using their choice words very loosely. And your breath stink. I don't like talking to you. You always got stink breath. And you, I don't know why you talk to people that way. You ain't nobody. And you, you told us we were going to get this money. You told us if we got him not to connect with her, we would have this money. If he, ch girl, I can't. They were celebrating, girl. They were celebrating. They were celebrating. The ancestors said, let's balance this out real quickly. Let's balance this out. And now they're trapped in something. What are you trapped in, folks? What are you trapped in? Clarity on this Ten of Wands, please. Because these people get on my last nerves. They ain't just showing up in my reads. Listen, Empress, you get to move on with your life. While wow, these people are trapped in whatever reality they were trying to put you in. Some type of nightmare. It's that, oh, you know what? Let's set, let's set him up. Let's set her up. It's one of her. Everybody's going to believe what we said. We have connections on the inside until the investigation. This, there's a community, a group that didn't know there was some type of internal investigation going on. Someone may have even been sleeping with a PI and they didn't know that. Dang. Ding, 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 ding. Dang. <laughs> you may have someone working really hard to find the truth. Like they're wor working really hard to block you from being seen. But guess what? This is you about to be out here living your best life. And they're all going to be watching you. You may end up being the head of an institution, the face of an institution. There's a leader of a community that may have made some type of decision to balance something out. This could be an em Yeah, I split the deck. This could be an emperor that's deciding to share with you because what well, the spirit realm has illuminated something to him. He's having some type of epiphany, which means he is choosing to balance something out. So he may call you, he may text you, email you, something like that, telling you that he wants to be with you, work with you, going through healing. His plan is to tell you the truth. Maybe confess. Someone may want to confess their emotions for you. Someone may want to confess the truth so that you two can end up listening. And there's something here about a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. Lots and lots of it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.